In adult onset Huntington's disease, in typical Huntington's disease, virtually all the aggregates in the neurons are not in the nucleus, they're in the processes, and when the aggregates form in the processes, they're often bigger than the diameter of the process, so they would definitely disrupt traffic. So I can't see how they're gonna be good. I think the question of whether, which forms of the protein are good or bad is a function of where they are in the cells and how big they are and what they're doing. Um, in terms of the relevance of autophagy here, um, I think that our data, and I can discuss it a little more, suggests that we're removing the precursors of the aggregates and we're having beneficial effects in a range of systems. And so we're actually reducing both the soluble species, which might be oligomeric species, as well as the big aggregates. And I think that's why we're having benefits. In terms of your question about disrupting aggregates, I think that um, chaperone strategies, for instance, or like strategies which dis would disrupt the very early stages of oligomerization will disrupt the whole cascade and probably will be beneficial. In terms of your second question, I think that there's been a, a pseudo dogma in the field that autophagy um, decreases its activity with age. I'm not sure that that's been carefully documented in the brain where we've got to look properly. So I think that can do with more experiments. I would like to ask a question about the uh, option of the blocking of nitric oxide. Yes. If you block nitric oxide, you get an enormous endothelial release from endothelial cells, which is not really what you want. How do you get around that problem? Do you have nitric oxide inhibitors that don't cross the blood-brain barrier? Oh, how so, you will get them there anyway? So I'm not, I'm not trying to advocate at the moment that we should use nitric oxide inhibitors for treating these diseases. I think it's just trying to make the point that the nitric oxide is blocking autophagy. So when you have too much nitric oxide, you're blocking autophagy. How one's going to translate that, um, it might be a little bit more complex. Oh, well, uh, we are running out of time. I'm sorry. Uh, so we'll go into the next.